Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will show how fractions can be decomposed. Let's decompose five, six. Let's take a look at this model. We notice that we have five out of six, or five, six. One way to decompose five, six is to take three, six, one, two, three, and we can add one, two, two, six. Three plus two equals five, and we have six equal parts. So that will equal five, six. Let's decompose five, six in a different way. Here we have five, six. We can start by saying one sixth plus one, two, three, four, six. And when we add one six plus four six, we get five, six. Let's try another way. We can start with two six plus one six plus two six. Two plus one plus two equals five six. Let's try one more way. We have two six plus one six plus one six plus one six. We know that two plus one plus one plus one equals five six. These are four different ways to decompose the fraction five six. We can also decompose the fraction five six using number bonds. Let's draw a number bond to show five six. We can start with one six plus one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. If we add all these six together, we get five six. Let's decompose this fraction using a different number bond. Let's try two six plus one six. That would be three six. Let's keep going until we get to five six. Another six would be four six, and another six would give us five six. Let's use a different number bond. Again, we have five six. We can use two six plus two six, which would be four six. And if we add one six, we will get five six, because two plus two plus one makes five, and we're working with six. Let's create one last number bond. We can say that three six plus two six makes five six, because three plus two is five. And we have like denominators. Another way to think about decomposing the fraction five sixths is to think of it like this. We can say that one sixth plus two sixths plus one sixth plus another six is the same thing as five sixths. This side is equal to this side. We can say that one sixth plus two sixths plus two sixths is the same thing as five sixths. Both of these sides have the same value. We can even do one sixth plus four sixths, and that will equal five sixths. This side has the same value as this side. They are equal. One last way is one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth gives us five sixths. Both of these sides are equal in value. Let's decompose five sixths in a different way. We can think of it like this. One sixth plus 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 one sixth is the same thing as five sixths. We can say that one sixth plus two sixths plus two sixths is equal to five sixths because one plus two plus two makes five, and we have like denominators. Another way to think about it is two sixths plus three sixths will equal five sixths. We have like denominators and two plus three is five. Let's do it one more time. Four sixths plus one sixth equals five sixths. Four plus one is five and we have like denominators. This side is equal to this side, just like this side is equal to this side, just like this side is equal to this side, and just like this side is equal to this side. <laughs>